Hello, my name is Dr Jonathan Oates, archivist for the London Borough of Ealing. This is another in our series of Ealing Local History YouTube videos. Today we're standing outside Ealing Film Studios on Ealing Green. It can claim to be the oldest working film studios in the world. However, it was not established in 1902, as often reported, but in 1910. It was created by Will Barker and he created a number of different films in Ealing in this period. These included extracts from Henry VIII by Shakespeare, which involved bringing down theatre actors from London. There's also a biopic of Queen Victoria. And finally, his masterpiece, perhaps, was Jane Shaw, which was filmed in 1916 and involved hundreds of extras, lots of costumes, scenery, weapons and armour. And this was a slightly fictional story of Edward IV's mistress set in the wars of the Roses in the 15th century. Will Barker sold the studios in 1924 and a few years later it was owned by the Associated Talking Pictures. As their name suggested, they were there in the business of creating talkies compared to the silent films of the Barker era and they installed a sound studios. They created several films here, perhaps notably in 1935 Mr Midshipman Easy which was a very early British film to, to have a prominent role for a black actor. However, the studio's most famous period was between 1938 and 1955. This was when the head of production was Michael Balcon and in his period of office many famous films were created. There were for example war films during World War II such as Went the Day Well and Nine Men and many others but it was just after the war with Hue and Cry that the Ealing comedies were created. It's a series of films including Passport to Pimlico, um, The Lady Killers, The Man in, um, in the White Suit and various others which starred famous British actors such as Alec Guinness, Herbert Lom, Margaret Rutherford, Peter Sellers and many others. Some of the Ealing Studios films actually included street scenes in Ealing or other aspects of Ealing. For example in um, the Lavender Hill Mob you can see parts of Gunnersbury Park and in, in, um, in the Dead of Night you can see the back view, the west side of Pitsanger Manor. In 1955 however the film studios moved to Nile Lodge in Queen's Walk where a number of other films were made by Ealing Studios. The last films in 1958 were Dunkirk and The Siege of Pinchgut which is one of several Australian themed stories. In 1955 the BBC bought Ealing Studios and they had many parts of, of their TV series as filmed here including Porridge, Colditz and Blake's Seven. The BBC sold the studios in 1990 and there's a question mark as to what would happen to the studios afterwards. However many other films and TV series have used the interiors of the studios for their dramas, perhaps famously the servants quarter scenes in Downton Abbey were shot here and parts of Shaun of the Dead were shot here and many others. So it is still, it is still a working studios and perhaps Ealing Studios is Ealing's best claim to fame. Certainly um, I think it's fair to say that Ealing Studios is very significant and thank you for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe.